about two years longer than my sister's been alive. And, uh, maybe three years. I think she's about 15. And, honestly, I don't really care. Like, I'll be sad when, when she finally dies, but I'm not going to care that much. It's not going to be a huge loss. I'm not a cat person at all. Like, I like my cat, kind of. I like, I like my cat when she's not, you know, being a cat. She's, like, hanging out with us and not being super damn annoying like most cats are. I like when, the, when she's actually being, like, loving. She's not being super selfish. I don't know. There's just a certain person that likes cats. And I am not one of them. I actually like having an animal that enjoys me. You know, I'm not looking for something that I I give food to and it just you know, I don't see it otherwise. Laura has a house like an inside cat and she has she actually likes her cat. And uh you know, she she enjoys having the cat around. Which maybe we should have had my cat be an inside cat, then maybe we'd actually it'd actually like appreciate us. But you know, screw that. I'm just, I'm just, I'd rather have a dog. Plain and simple. Dogs, if you wanted to, you could take for a walk. You know, I don't take my dogs for walks all the time, but every once in a while, or I'll be like, take dogs for a walk, and I'll be like, yeah, let's do it. Sounds like fun. Go to the park. Have a good time. You know, come home, the dogs are like, hi! thought you left us forever. I'm so happy to see you. You know, and then they'll be playful, and one of the problems is they're a little loud, as you heard, so he has kind of a shrill voice, which you know, I've been used to this whole time, so I don't really care. And I just enjoy having the bigger animal that isn't an asshole. Like, I don't know. Cats, I don't like them that much. They just seem... I saw a really funny post the other day. I, mean, I actually saw two of them on Reddit. One is like a pic, like one half of the picture is like eight or so dogs, and it had like their actual, like Siberian Husky, Pug, Corgi, had like their actual names. And on the other side of the picture had like eight cats, and they're all just like cat, 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 cat. Which is totally true. Who actually looks at the cat and like, yep, that's this type of cat. Other than like Siamese or like fucking. Well, uh, I don't even know what another name for a cat is. There's like the, uh... Siamese... And... I don't even know what my cat is, to be honest. I'm not a sphinx cat. Whatever. But, like... Dog breed is actually important. Cat breed. I mean, I'm sure it's important to a lot of people, or like a couple people. There are, I'm sure there are people out there who's like, yep, this breed is definitely a, a good breed. But, you know, dog breed is actually very, like, much more important. You, you look at a, uh, like, look at certain dogs and they have certain traits. I'm sure different types of cats have different traits. All of them center around cat suck. But, um, and dog, like, eh. Anyway, I'll skip the, the uh, thought I just had, but some of something else that I saw on Reddit that I thought was very, very funny was, um, there's a picture of a dog, it was like a German Shepherd, and it was looking all noble and stuff, which is awesome. I love when the dogs look really pristine. Um, and this dog is beautiful. I love German Shepherds. 
Um, but anyway, the point is, it was like a picture of the dog, and underneath it it said, can be taught to sniff out certain types of cancers in humans, our guardians, and then it's just like, there's two or three other things that are awesome. Oh, just get the shit out of me. Two or three things that are awesome about dogs. And then there's a picture of a cat, and it just said shit's in a box. And I was like, yep. Wonder why? Because you can't really teach a cat to do very much else. Or his cat to play dead. So. And that, I haven't really seen a cat learn to do very much. Apparently, Laura's friend's cat can actually use the toilet, which, you know, I've, I had a bunny that we gave to my uncle, because my mom was allergic to it, and we taught that bunny to, or he taught that bunny to go to the bathroom in a, uh, in a toilet. That bunny was awesome. Um, so, it's not too big of a deal in that case you can teach a, st a stupid derpy animal that like a uh, rabbit to do that so not that impressive I just think that uh, if there's a family that can support like that has a big enough house for it you should probably get you know if you're going to get an animal get a dog um, unless you're like a super like lonely person that doesn't really require you know having I have no idea where I was going with that but if you're gonna have a cat you should probably have a dog as well because uh, they're better companions in my eyes. They eat more though. They do poop more. So if you want something that its main trick is poops in a litter box or yeah, no, poops in a box, then uh, go for it. Get a cat. Well, that was very anti-cat, and I'm sorry if you enjoy having a cat. I'm sure you enjoy your cat to its fullest, and I'm sure that it is a nice animal that you personally like. Um, just not a fan myself. I respect you for having said cat. My friend Ryan has a cat. We all know how loving of a person Ryan is. He's not very nice. Any person that I know that has just a cat isn't really that compassionate of a person, I've noticed. Like, they can be, but on, like, a normal day, I've noticed that for the most part, they're not all that compassionate. Which isn't really a problem. You're allowed to not be compassionate. It's just a better trait to have, and I've noticed that it comes with having a dog. Most dog owners that I've noticed are uh, more compassionate. By no way am I saying that if you have a cat you should get rid of it, because they definitely need homes too. It's very, very sad. Hold on, somebody's at the door. All right, I'm back. Um, there you go. My sister needed for me to take my laundry out of the dryer so she can do her laundry, which fine with me. It didn't take very long, so it's quite an easy task. I think I'm gonna call this an episode pretty soon um, because I need to go and take a shower and start getting ready for work, and Laura's actually going to come over pretty soon, so I need to take a shower even earlier, um, 
and I'm gonna be able to see her and I'll be happy and stuff. So I'm going to use up these last 20 blocks and then be on my merry old way. Again, sorry for the uh, cat hate speech that I just done. I didn't realize how, uh, how anti-cat that probably was until I thought about it as I walked away and uh, you know, help my sister out and stuff. Like I said, no problem if you have a cat. I don't really mind. And I'm sure you enjoy having that pet around. But, until next time, I thank you all for watching, and I hope that everybody had a good time and enjoyed my cat speech. Um, yeah, see ya.